Hello, symphonic percussionists. This is Mr. Pickett here with page 25 in your book. Um, this again is going to be a very brief lesson. Um, we've only got three, three pieces, and in one of the three pieces, you only play the last line. Okay? The first two are some of your more fun exercises, so you'll, you'll, you'll enjoy this week. It just won't take you very long to master it and learn it and what have you. So, all right, get your sticks and pads. Let's get going here. Page 25 in the book. We will be right back with the start of this lesson, right after the, this brief break. All right, we begin with number 115, natural minor, number 116, harmonic minor. <clears throat> and once again, we are faced with some of the most favorite percussion exercises, the rolled 16th note triplets. So we aren't gonna bother to <laughs> follow along silently, we're gonna do it. I'm sure you kids can do it, but let's go, no. Silent stuff, we're doing it. Here we go. Get your sticks ready. Let's go. 115. Except they're all rolled. Every one of those triplets in both exercises are rolled. Z strokes means multiple bounce rolls, but you know the deal here. Here we go. Number 115. One, two, ready and go. And one. Number 116, harmonic minor. Much the same thing. One, two, let's play. Ready and go. <laughs> All right, let's take a break. Let's do the last exercise. Again, very quick lesson this week. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. All right, number 117, Mars. This is from the very famous work, The Planets, by Gustav Holst. Okay, the name Gustav Holst is very, very prominent in all levels of music education and band experience, mostly in the advanced levels, high school, college, He's written a lot of very, very famous music, concert band masterpieces. Now Mars is in 5-4 here. You only play the last line. The first two lines are for tam-tam uh, and bass drum. Now the tam-tam is what we were blandly referred to as our gong. Um, but again, there is a difference between a gong and a tam-tam. And I would advise you scholars to look it up and find out for yourselves. Because it has been explained to me that here in the band room we do not have a gong, we have a tam-tam. And I have always held, no, we have a gong. But the percussion experts and the percussion people, or the people who think they're percussion experts, like to categorize our gong as a tam-tam. So I invite you to look up gong versus tam-tam if we have not had this discussion already, because I think the gong was used last year in some of the CMEA music. I'm just guessing here. So you play the last line. Now, this is for Darcev and Carrick. Um, if at all last year in Symphonic Band we passed out a piece called 20th Century Fox Power Drive, uh, that the, the basis for that pep band song is this song, Mars. Okay? You won't hear the um, characteristic ostinato, well you will in the end, but the melody that makes it like the pep band song, which is called Power Drive, Fresno State Band and Independence High Band use that and possibly others. All right, here we go, just, just the last line. Follow along silently, ready? Retard, two before the end, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Do da dee do 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 da do crescendo. do da dee do 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 da do do da dee do 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 day now. Do da dee do 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 day do. Roll and hold it as long as you want and put yourself off. Okay, here we go. Ready. Ready. Last line. One, two, three, four, five. Do da dee do 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 day do. Do da dee do crescendo. 
now. Do that big do, do, do accents, now retard, do, 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 date, do, roll. And off. Okay, I see a music theory goof here. The last measure is a whole note. Uh, there's no pickup notes, that's only four beats in a five beat measure, so they should actually, to be theoretically correct, tie that to a quarter note. Okay? Uh, that's just, again, to be theoretically correct. It's a 5-4 bar, but you have a whole note, four beats. There is no one beat pickup in the beginning, so just pointing that out. All right, we'll take a break and bring an end to this lesson, so stay tuned. We'll be right back with a conclusion. Stay tuned. All right, that's it, page 25. Not much to it, but enough to keep you entertained. <laughs> hate to use that term. Those first two, 115 and 116, are entertaining if nothing else. But, I mean, it is good 16th note triplet practice and rolled 16th note triplet practice. I mean, that's never a bad thing. Build up that uh, roll technique, you know, hey. Now, in the Mars, let me just call your attention to that bar up at the top of page 25B, the tan box, I'm sorry, not the bar, the tan box that says, ostinato, a clear and distinct musical phrase that is repeated persistently. Okay, bop, 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 okay. That's referred to in musical parlance as an ostinato. Okay, all right, now, then it says a little bit about Gustav Holst. But again, if you want to go to YouTube and type in Fresno State Band Power Drive or something like that, you'll hear the band doing uh, that 20th Century Fox fanfare, and then they go into this bop, 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 which is based on the, the, the Mars, except that's in four, the real Mars is in five. What I don't remember, and again, only Darcev and Carrick, you would remember, is if we did 20th Century Fox Power Drive last year before the school was shut down. I, I just don't recall. Maybe you would know better than me. So. All right, have a good week. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay busy. Okay? And Look at these three exercises. We don't have much farther to go in the book. The book ends at page 30, so we're getting somewhat close to the end of the book, okay? So take care. Have fun with this page. This is Mr. Pickett saying so long. Practice lots and have a great week, and we'll see you next week. Thanks and so on.